I like to see Trent uh, add on the right hand on the end of that double jab. You know, the double jab in the right hand, you know, get this guy moving back, start putting the pressure on him a little bit, break him down, hit him to the body and start looking for that stoppage. One fifty one to go, round number five, set for ten. Trying to throw a right hand to the horse there, but now there was a weight to it. Back. That's see that shit worked the body in there, worked the body. There's a nice straight back. And they're all scoring punches. They're not knockout punches, but they're scoring punches. Exactly. You know, Trent's very wary. He knows his kid's looking for the money shot. And uh, Trent's using that jab being very, very smart and cautious. But as I said before, I'd love to see him put that right hand on the end of it and really drive it in there. Oh, great right hand right there, Ray. Well, he heard you do it. And there's that body punch you spoke about as well. That's all he has to do. Just pick up the pace a little bit here. Eventually, he's just going to grind this guy down and get the stoppage win. Keep it up and send him. has to acknowledge that the punch was perhaps just a little low, but not low enough to stop him with the winning. And foul drill. Thirty-one seconds to go as we get to the halfway mark. Oh, there's another straight there. They're taking their toll and got inside with a, a left then as well. There's the right hand, there's the right hand again. That's exactly what he needs to do, right? Just keep throwing that right hand, break this guy down slowly. Oh, fantastic. There it is there again. There you go, and the body shot. And the right hand again. He's stung him with the right hand then. He walked through it, and another right hand. He's in trouble here, but he's going to survive. The bell's going to save him. He definitely heard me, Ray. The right hand. Telepathic messages going to the corner there, the blue corner. We take a break. Channel 9 now simulcast on 9 HD on Channel 90. Show your card and save this Christmas at Snooze. Show your Auto Club card and save 15% off regular prices. And right now, some of our best selling beds are available for delivery before Christmas. It's amazing, wireless is in you. The Toyota Kruger. With driver assist technologies, seven SRS airbags, and reversing camera, it's ready for anything. And that's why that young man is ranked number two amongst Australian light heavyweights, because in the opening five rounds he's built up a sizable lead. He'd be at least five points in front of the man of the black trunks, Rob Power Drill. And that was that right hand that Billy Dipper had been calling for. And now we go back to live action. Round six. And then he's taking with a left hand again. And Broadhurst. You know, I think Rob definitely knows he's behind on the scorecards, Ray, and he's going to look for something now. But, you know, all Trent has to do is just be smart, pick his shots, and, you know, could be good more around for this guy. Hey, left hand leads are really causing damage. Good defense there by Chan. Mm, the right hand again, the right hand, the money shot. Going backwards, so he oh, and he just got a short shot left in there as a have a look at the body. Yeah. Trent's growing in confidence. He's coming in, coming in with his hands up high, which is, you know, means he's looking for them body shots. And... Good right hand. That's exactly what I want to see him do. Double jab and a right hand afterwards. And out guards come out on it, we're fine. Hard to pick it up with a pair of gloves, but he did so. And back in she goes. But time off and touching gloves to acknowledge. Oh, runs right into a jab then. Uh, There's three jabs consecutive right on the bottom. 
very hard to throw three of them in a row and connect with all three, but that's what he did. I mean, the target's not moving, though. When the head's right there, you might as well take the shot. I'd like to see, you know, Rob's corner telling him to move his head a little bit. He's getting hit with too many jabs. Well, in the last 20 seconds, I reckon he's been hit with eight. Ooh. The body Good body shot there, right there by Trent. He's taking the zing out of uh, out of uh, Rob's punches. He raised then body shots and the shots to the head have definitely slowed Rob down. So you know he can get in there and mix it up a little bit more if he has to. 32 seconds to go, round six here. Powdrill's done well to survive this long, given the amount of pain. Oh, fantastic body shot right there. Sort of coming one sided at the moment, Ray. You know, um, Trent's doing all the damage, and you know, Rob, Rob sort of drowned a little bit at the moment. There's no timing there. He's going to survive this round. Oh, great body shots. But, you know, it's just putting. It will only be his courage to get him to 10 rounds because he's been completely outboxed at the moment and taking any amount of punishment. Then body shots are just money in the bank, Ray. Right? Landing down the stretch, that's when you're going to start to kill him. We take a break, we'll come back for the 7th round shortly. Yay for the magic of Christmas. For extra sparkle. And those special touches. For quality trees and designer decorations. For beautiful table settings. And even the most fabulous food. With higher quality and lower prices, there's only one place with everything you need for a magical Christmas. Target. He's very frustrated here, Rob Powdrill. He, he, he turned away from his corner and um, so I want to go, I want to go. And, and he knows he didn't strike and uh, that's his reaction to the sort of punishment he's taken. Uh, that's the instant where the mouth guard came out. Look at that, that left hand bang. And... and that was just a fantastic count shot right there. I think he accepts now that he needs to knock him out in a win, and he just doesn't have the power left because of the punishment he's taken for the opening six rounds. We're into round seven here. Well, I mean, you've got nothing to lose. You just go out there and go for broke. You know, you're in there against a very talented guy and a much more experienced guy. Now, losing here is not going to really mean anything. You just go out there and give it the best that you got. a reminder we've got a really good fight coming up for the Australian Super Worldweight title and uh, Rocky Jerkic and Shannon King so don't go anywhere we're here for the long haul so he bravely battles on Rob Power Drill despite the man in the Cerisean White had an unassailable lead midway through the seventh round. Eight, nine, and ten to follow. Oh, I'm looking at his all chance of skipping his kick to pieces. He's in trouble. He's and frustrated. He's very, very frustrated now. Just looking for the haymaker. Well, you can hear that when we were listening to what he said to his corner. They tried to talk him through where he was at, and he just wanted nothing to do with him. He wanted to get back into the ring. And He's frustrated about the fact that he's, at the moment, copying a fair... Honestly, B, this is a time where Trent needs to put the pressure on this guy. He doesn't look like he wants to be in there anymore. He's very frustrated, and the frustrated fighter can't perform very well. Fantastic shots there by Trent. Oh, and the body shot, amazing. He did trouble. He did trouble. He's milking that. Um, it's a low blow, and he's going to have a word to him better once he gets up. Well, that does hurt. 
and he's trying to apologise, but obviously they need to give him as much time as he requires. I'm not sure Aiden looked that low, to be completely honest with you. I'm, I'd love to see the replay of it, but I don't think it was completely that low. Well, we'll have a look at it in a moment. He, he, he hasn't deducted a point, but if you do it again, you deduct a point. He had a touch gloves to acknowledge that it uh, was not delivered. And, and they gave Rob the option of taking five minutes off, and you know, and shows the toughness that he has. He doesn't take the five minutes, he just comes out to fight again. He just got the, for his uh, braveness a barrage of punches, short, sharp stuff, and there's, well, he went low again there. Uh, he's going to be taking, a, he, he's going to take a point off, surely. Point. One point. Deduct a point. One point. One point. One point. Okay. Well, he gave me the warning, and there's not much else he can do. He, he can't say if you do it again, I'm going to deduct the point, not take a point off it. So this probably makes this round level if he was leading 10-9, and again, they touch gloves. It's not a deliberate act by him. Nah, they, it it's not very deliberate, you know, and, and Trent's just trying to follow the instruction by, the, by his corner to go to the body, and unfortunately, you know, they're strained a little bit, so... Anyway, has a point deducted here in round seven. I don't think that really makes a difference, to be honest with you. I think that Trent's doing a great job picking the right shots, and, you know, he's closing out the round fantastically over here. Well, here he is, ripping and tearing with about 10 seconds to go in the seventh round, and now drills brave, but you wonder if he can survive. There's that bell sounding for the end of round seven. Probably his best, despite the fact that he lost a point. Skylanders Superchargers. Vehicles too powerful for this world have come to Skylanders. Drive evil crazy. Skylanders Superchargers. Some choice and consoles sold separately. Drop by your local IGA this Christmas for some great prices. Doritos corn chips half price for your summer entertaining. And Cadbury favourites also half price. Perfect for sharing. Another reason it pays to shop independent. And so, Trent Broadhurst has probably won every round, uh, and then we take the point off at a 10 9 round, it comes back to 10 all, but he'll be leading by at least six points. And there's that, that first low blow, and it was low, and there's another one. Well, it wasn't quite as bad, he got him. It was accidental, look, it wasn't deliberate, you know, Chen doesn't look like that type of a fighter who wants to really go low, he's winning the fight comfortably, no need to go low and lose points. So here we are in round number eight, and the equation for the man of the black trunks is fairly simple, he's got to knock the other bloke out the win. Well that's what I'd be telling him, if I was his trainer in the corner, I'd be saying, mate, you might as well go for broke. Um, you will be on the scorecards. And then again, if I'm Trent Borges trainer, I'll just tell him to be, be smart, pick his shots, and, and look for the right shots to, to get this guy out of there. Protect yourself. And there's a good right hand. And the thing's gone out of power drill because he's accepted a lot of punishment for these seven and a bit rounds. Ooh. Oh, there's a great left hand. It just came in the form of an uppercut and he was going upstairs with it and he caught him. And you can see etched on the face of Powder. Oh, oh, big right hand, he's right in hand trouble. Hand. He's hurting with that right hand. He's in strife here. He's hurting with that right hand. Still 150 to go, round eight. Can he survive, Power Drill? Oh, no, fantastic body shot there, eh? Right? Fantastic. He's hurting to the body and here he's we go. He's gone, he's down. Fantastic. That's the end of the fight. The count won't be applied. It's all over. He's waved it off. Of course he had to. You've got to look out for the safety of a brave man like Rob Powder. You can't apply a count. You've got to get the doctor in as quickly as you can. He was completely outclassed. And the most telling expression of that fight was the body punch that Billy called. And he gasped for air. Well, he couldn't get a breath. He's, he's kind of been calling for it. You know, they've been asking him to go to the body. He invested all to the body early, and that's what, he, that's what you get when you put the investment in. We'll have a look at the replay here shortly, and you'll see graphically what Billy was talking about. And that's a brave man on the right-hand side of the screen. Here it is, concluding stage. Is that with that right hand? That's that left hand I spoke about. That's what it started it all. That left uppercut right on the chin. He, he, he was coming in at an angle, and here it is now. Bang, 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 and he goes down. There was a body punch just before that. Oh. And there was a left, there was a right, and down he goes. That's a fantastic win by Trent. 
much deserved victory and you know what Rob definitely hats off to Rob for a gallant fight and he wins the IBF Pan Pacific Light Heavyweight title and fought a very very smart fight